Hey friends, welcome back. And if you're new to the channel, welcome. Glad to have you. I hope you'll enjoy the video and please consider subscribing. Now I'm making another Christmas card. You're probably shaking your head like, ah, oh, I've made too many Christmas card videos, but it's the season to start making the cards so you can get them sent out. And if you are a dog or cat lover, you are going to love this card that I'm gonna make. And I'm gonna show you a version you can make for yourself if you like dogs, because I'm a cat person. So when you go into images, search advent calendar. And if you pop up, not much, 114 results. There we go. And there are some cute ones in here, but there's two in particular. There is this Merry Woofmas and Meowy Christmas. So let's get those loaded in. So I've already set my card to my regular design. So, sorry, sizing. I don't think I had enough coffee today. So for me, this is not going to be quite the right size because if I make it smaller, see, it's not sitting 100% properly. So I'm just going to manipulate the image a bit. Let's unlock it. There we go. I know the paws are a little wide, but I like how this looks. Now I want to do this a little different. I don't want to cut out these paws in vinyl. That's going to be way too much. Oh, let me go back. I didn't mean to take the whole thing. Highlight that again and ungroup. So first I'm taking out the Meowy Christmas and the numbers. I got the pause left. So I want to switch the pause to pen. I haven't done pen in a while. So let's do, uh, we'll do a gel pen, do a lime green. Nope, that one has to be red. And we'll grab the green one. We'll switch that to pen. Do the same thing. And obviously you can do whichever colors you would want on that, your prerogative. And I wanna do the numbers in pen, but the Meowy Christmas I wanna do in Glitter HTV. <laughs> you know I love my glitter. So we're going to slice these. Give my computer a second. Let's replace the numbers. We'll get them as good as possible. We will highlight the numbers. Let's change those to a pen. And I'll leave those in black. I am going to highlight the white card, my three pens, and click attach. So those are ready. Let's get rid of my excess there. Because I'm going to be using HTV, we're going to flip this horizontally so it's already mirrored. Arrange it to the front. There we go. So I'm going to get this cut out. I'm not going to do the Merry Woofmas because I'm going to do the Meowy Christmas because I'm a, a cat person. I love dogs, don't get me wrong, but I would prefer to have cats. They're a lot less work, so call it laziness on my behalf. But I'll get this cut out and I'll show you what the effect looks like. There is the main part of the card. For the pens, I used a gel pen size one true red and gel pen size one lemongrass. I did have a darker green, but it was extra fine and I wanted to use the same size pen. So this is what I went with. <laughs> I did end up having to go over the green a second time. The pen stopped working even though I primed it 
before I started, but I'm sure you've had those issues as well. But let's get our Meowy Christmas attached. We'll get it in there nice and straight and even. And if you haven't watched my previous video, when you're putting HTV, this is actually Cricut Iron On, onto cardstock, use your mini press. You could probably use an iron on low for about 25 seconds moving continuously. So let's get started. And it sticks fantastic. And I'm assuming the obvious moving quickly is so you're not burning the cardstock. So I'm just watching my camera do its thing. And that's what's helping me keep track. So if you got lots of glitter HTV iron on, use, use it on your card making. No, it needs a little bit more. Sometimes that happens. And I can't for the life of me remember if it's a cool, warm, or hot peel. Uh, there we go. I know that S still needs a bit more. Oh, sneaky. Being all sneaky. Let's see if this will be a bit better. There we go. It's definitely hot. what that is. Oh, that R has to go down a bit more. Hope everyone's having a wonderful day today. I was watching a whole bunch of YouTube videos. Mainly art ones. As you know, I'm doing my painting journey. So, watching some of the fantastic artists on YouTube. And hoping that one day, I might be as good as they are. Okay, a little bit of that ear needs to get done again. I saw it lift up. I don't know if you could see it through the camera view, but it definitely lifted up. It probably wouldn't matter in the end. Oh my, that is adorable. I don't know what that red stuff is. That is not ink. Oh, I love it. Love, love, love it. So let's get this fully attached. So for the card, what I've done, this is gonna be the background. I think that looks pretty cute. And then it'll be the white on the inside. I don't know where you can go to buy double-sided Christmas paper. It will fold it up. Remember, you can do this one on the dog one if you're not a cat person or if you're giving it to someone who is not a cat person. But I think this is just adorable. And who doesn't like advent calendars? I loved them as a kid. That was one of the favorite, most favorite things for the beginning of December was getting your advent calendar. So. Okay, let's get this attached. Everything out of the way, let's zoom you in. I love it. I don't know if I'm gonna wanna give this to anyone. I might keep it for myself. I love that glitter. <laughs> One of my cats is definitely a princess. 
So they don't have collars. We probably should have them, but they're indoor cats. They do not go outside and they're microchips. So if they ever somehow figure out how to get outside, one, they'd be too scared to go anywhere. <laughs> but two, hopefully they'd be caught and we'd get notified. But definitely that glitter reminds me of her. So if I ever got her a collar, it would be a glittery collar. <laughs> But besides the point, it's not about my cats. This is about making a fun card out of an obscure image in Cricut Design Space. I was actually searching a Christmas cat and came across this one and went, well, that's pretty cute. They must have a dog one as well. So if I have to make another one for a dog lover, I'll make the Merry Woofness because that's super cute as well. But thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. I truly appreciate it and I appreciate you. Until next time.